Dear colleagues, I'm very glad to open this second day of the conference, Redefining Political Sociology. First, I want to thank Stephanie Allenda and the University Andreas Bello for having organized this conference in such a remarkable way. In a period of the year which is not so convenient for them, since students are on holidays, I think I have understood, but which allows us to see Santiago under its best light, although today is a bit uh, not so good. <laughs> In this short address, I would like to come back to the genesis of this conference that Stephanie and myself have started to conceive together about one year ago as a joint academic event of the University Andres Bello and the Committee of Political Sociology of the International Association of Sociology and Political Science. At the last business meeting of the CPS, we call it like that, Committee of Political Sociology, CPS, in 2016, an issue particularly emerged, which was the exact scope of political sociology. There is a lot of confusion and controversy about this, admittedly not so much among sociologists, who tend to have a simple answer, if I may say, they consider political sociology as a sociology of politics, such as the American Sociological Association, which uh, defines political sociology on its website as the sociological understanding of political phenomena. But among politists, whether they define themselves actually as political scientists or political sociologists, this is a permanent open question which leads to many tensions. So we decided to set up an event on this question. What is political sociology today? How is it defined in relation to sociology and overall political science? Stephanie, who had just led a CPS panel on this topic at the Congress of the Brazilian Association of Political Science, proposed that UNAB be the hosting institution of this event for which we obtained seed grants from both IPSA and ISA. IPSA and ISA, sorry. This is actually the role of the CPS to stimulate reflection on this question and to help making some advancement on it. It should be noted that this discussion has been central in the history of the research committee since, since its creation in 1959. Compared with other IPSA or ISA research committees, the CPS was not actually about a specific fields of studies within political science or sociology, such as elites, parties, elections. It was about something which looked like a new discipline while having close links with other disciplines. In its original definition by his founding fathers, who were actually the founding fathers of the CPS, political sociology was defined not so much by an object, but rather as an approach to the explanation of political facts. Thus, it, has to, it had to do with the scientific ambition of political science. It was a factor-oriented approach insofar as it was supposed to focus on the social basis of politics. This was, of course, Leipzig and Rocken's imprint. We were the first chairs of the committee. It should be noted that the committee counted at its creation an impressive number of members who already were or would become big names, such as Sartori, Raymond Aron, Eisenstadt, Linz, or Dogen. But very soon, this anchorage was found reductive. Not only it was leading to social reductionism and determinism, but also the explored relation was only one way, from social fact to political fact. Thus, the CPS affiliated in 1970 to IPSA to mark its autonomy from sociology, as to avoid to appear just as one of its subfiles. From this time, it became a joint committee of both ISA and IPSA. And in a famous article, Sartori redefined political sociology as an interdisciplinary hybrid addressing both social and 
political explanatory variables and interested in the two-way interactions between social and political facts. The problem is that from this point, political sociology was almost doomed to dissolve into political science. What do political scientists do if not try to explain political facts looking priorly to, at social and political factors? In fact, non-few authors consider that political sociology doesn't really exist anymore as something different from political science. Hence, a sort of war, especially among politicists, between those who refuse to mention it and those who, conversely, have renamed the whole discipline political sociology and dropped the term political science. I hope that these three days of discussion will make it possible to advance on this subject and give it an answer, whatever it may be. In any case, the discussion should probably not stop here and be prolongated in other initiatives. Thank you.